Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I have to get the greenhouse cleared out, get everything out of here, because it's raining in here. You probably can't see it very well on the video, but there's condensation drops everywhere on the ceiling and partway down the sides and it is literally raining in here it's not too bad right now but I got to get everything out of here this thing I will bring I'll bring this in here during the winter if it's really cold out I'll heat this place up let it rain and uh, bring this in afterwards but otherwise, I'll use it like I have been. You can see the water right here. I'll use this as I have been and just pull it out of the shed and make a few cuts and then pull it back in. I don't cut in the shed because it just, especially chop saws like this, they just throw stuff everywhere. And I'm not going to have the shed just completely dirty like that. I need a wood shop. Um... So until that happens, I'm going to cut outside. So I'm going to go get that done. Then I'm going to unbox this DynaPro or Dyna, Dyna Glow Pro uh, propane heater and see if any of these tanks have any juice in them yet. Uh, when I fire that up, if it works, that will make it rain like all get out in here. So... Nothing that can be damaged can remain in here. And once once this is just pretty much greenhouse only, it really doesn't matter because there will be nothing that's not waterproof in here. I have a big container of desiccant coming. Uh, that's the stuff you, uh, the silica gel that you get in, uh, well, aspirin and lots of different stuff has silica gel in it. But this is a like 128 grams or something like that. It's a big container. What I'm going to do is put a a big bin, a storage tote, in here for stuff that needs to remain dry, and put that inside of it. It should be just fine then. I I leave them things outside when I'm doing work, you know, in a far place on the land. So. It'll stay nice and dry that way. So let me get this thing cleaned out and we'll get that thing fired up and see how it works. about 15 minutes worth of work it is now just dripping like crazy in here and when I took the chop saw out I mean it still has water all over it it was getting so wet I needed to take it out right away crazy so I got everything up um, in this kind of weather, you have the same problem with exhaust systems. You don't want to start start a vehicle up and then drive it for a couple minutes and then park it 
you'll get all kinds of condensation in your exhaust system. You really need to let the exhaust heat up. So, and the engine needs to run for a while as well. The gator has been in the shelter over there for, I don't know, two weeks now. So, whenever we take it out in the winter, we just let it run for a while to uh, warm up. So this, I'll just walk over there. I'm gonna go dump this stuff off and just park the gator. No big deal to just walk back here and roll this over. It's pretty mobile. So I'm gonna get this stuff put away. going into the shelter over here which has a floor in it so it doesn't get anywhere near as damp as that will. The tarp is for the the wood behind the greenhouse. Brought that here by mistake and this 4x6 blocking goes back there so everything either goes back there or back there and I just have to bring the saw over and then I'm done with this garbage. Okay, cleaned out. Everything that's left in here can get wet. Tanks, everything. I'll just have to uh, figure something out for the heater when it's not in use. So let's get this opened up. return product to store. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Okay. Big old instructions. I'm gonna guess this is in about a hundred languages and has one page of instructions for English. It's got pretty decent graphics. Okay. 
pull the unit out. So far so good. The packaging is pretty damn good. It's got a little uh, base in the box there that went under that. Dynaglow Pro. I don't know if you can see this, but there's drips coming down right here. I know at least the old ones, the old versions of a torpedo heater could take a lot of abuse because I had one, uh, what was that, kerosene version out in my very first shop and it was just solid rust. Um, I don't think it ever failed. I think it just got damaged in moving or something. Okay, let's read these instructions. Okay, warning, don't blow yourself up. Uh, don't, don't use the heater in the house. Don't use it in a sealed garage. Uh, I'm going to go through some of this uh, ass covering. Let's see what this regulator looks like. I said this was for both types of tanks. I have, I think I've told you, I have a hundred pound and I have a hundred pound and a uh, 20 pound, I believe those little ones are. Hopefully this works on both. Okay, yes it should. This 20 pound has some internal threads. I'll bring the big one over here at a different time. Can't get this. This cap doesn't want to come off. It's like <laughs> threaded. It's threaded on there, and it's like cross-threaded, so it doesn't want to come off. I'll mess with that later. But anyways, that uh, the male thread here goes into here, into this female. And then this is just this big thread out here is a quick connect for uh, like barbecues and stuff have that on it. And I believe this will work on the on the big cylinder as well. Hopefully. All right, I'm gonna read some uh, read about the dangers of heaters, and then I'll be right back. Well, uh, almost all of the instructions are for. The larger versions. Look at it, it's wet already. Very wet. Tons and tons of warnings on uh, how not to blow yourself up. Okay, so this is a Normal gas fitting, it's three quarters of an inch. So that goes on here, it gets plugged in, it's connected to the bottle, and then it gets turned on. I didn't get to the uh, turning it on part of the instructions yet, but I'll, I'll go over that real quick. It's a uh, three quarter of an inch wrench. Ladies and gentlemen, I salute you a while as this special person from Dr. Gray of the Natural History Museum, New York. Quote, 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Seismograph registered shock of almost 
Earthquake intensity occurring within a radius of 20 miles of tension. Please investigate. Signed, Lloyd Gray, Chief of Economic Security. There we go. Unquote. Okay, that's what that end looks like. See, this part is loose, and then this is what you tighten it with. So, that goes in there. Boy, it's raining all over in here. Okay. I don't know if there's even any gas in this bottle, so... Okay, lighting instructions. Motor and fan must be running before lighting, during operation, and shutdown. In order to prevent, in order to prevent flame out condition, which could result in personal injury or property damage. This heater uses continuous spark ignition system. This unit will continue to make a clicking, ticking sound at all times before ignition, after ignition, and during operation, regardless of valve positioning, valve knob positioning. Step one, connect power cord to a properly grounded three prong, 120 volt, 60 hertz, single phase receptacle. Okay, that would be this. the way these are. It is really raining in here big time. I mean it's very warm in here already. I don't know what the temperature is in here. I gotta get a, a thermometer in here. But I would say it is probably 65 degrees in here after I don't know, three, four minutes. Yes, that is a damn good little heater. These things run at nearly 100% efficiency. So they produce very little carbon monoxide, but they do produce carbon monoxide. So you can't have the, the place all completely uh, shuttered up and just leave this run. Not that you would want to. It's already plenty warm in here and it makes it makes it rain. So I don't know if I'll be able to use this in here or not. Maybe I can uh, run it and then dry it out in here and then just come out here and work after it. shut it off and come out here and work. I'll have to see how it works out. But it, it is toasty warm in here. So, I really like this thing. I wanted the DeWalt one, but like I said, 
they probably make the DeWalt one. DeWalt finds companies that make a high quality product and then they they make some changes and they brand it with their own name. So I, they develop they develop a lot of their own stuff as well, but I really believe the DeWalt one is made by Dynaglow. So all in all, the the thing works right away. The the little one like this is fully assembled. All you gotta do is put the hose on and plug it in and you're off to the races. Yeah, really nice. So what I'm gonna do is uh, let this thing run for a while, get this snow off of here and see what happens in here. Maybe I maybe I need to come in and uh, towel it off after a while. But if it's if it's this nice and warm in here in the winter, that'll be fantastic. But this will definitely come in handy working on the, the tractors over in the shed too. So yeah, I'm really pleased with this. The instructions, besides all of the uh, butt covering which they really have to do. The instructions were good, no damage, well packaged, and it works good. Yeah, I'm really pleased with it. So, I'm gonna let this warm up and I'll, uh, I'll let you know how it works out in a future video. Right now I gotta get back to the day job. If you like our videos, please subscribe to the channel Click on the update icon so you're notified when we post new videos. Thanks for watching, and have yourself a great day.